Drag Ball is just a fun night to celebrate drag culture. Uh, we're doing it in sponsorship with the Student Health Services, so we're also promoting safe sex. Spectrum, which was a queer group, they had Drag Ball every year, and it got to a tens of 2,000 people at its peak. Um, so then it uh, caved and it was no longer, so we wanted to start it up, especially since we are a fraternity for men of all sexual and gender backgrounds. I think it's always a good opportunity for people to experiment with their gender expression. Um, our society is pretty rigid with what's acceptable for men and women. It's changing over time, of course, but it's always fun to knock down those barriers and say that, you know, I am what I am, and it's okay if I wear high heels and pump iron. I'm really looking forward to seeing Misery. Uh, she's an amazing performer, the living legend Misery, as she calls herself. Um, we heard great things. Uh, she's amazing. I've never maybe seen maybe three people in drag before in my life. Uh, you know, even I'm gay and I still haven't seen anything on drag. See the the surprise on people's faces when I walk through the door. The the, the surprise on their face, uh, they, they just can't believe it. They don't know what's going on, what's happening. Just see that smile and that, that sense of shock is is amazing. You haven't seen nothing yet, huh? Next time I'm gonna bring my dancers with me and we're gonna do a whole dance routine. Yes, ma'am, we're going to do a dance with you, so come see me. Ow! <laughs>